today I want to do a little reflection and brother Stanford uh, my uncle as you know he's passed away but today I want to reflect in some of the good memories I want to reflect in uh, some of the memories that stood out to me I remember um, quite frankly when uh, brother Stanford uh, came to Jamaica one year and for the first time he brought fried chicken to Jamaica and that was the first time I taste American chicken <laughs> it, it was so good <laughs> I tell you you know the chicken we didn't even heat it up we ate it just like that you know we came from Florida to, to straight to Jamaica and I'll, I'll never forget that chicken that chicken was so good man I don't think I ever taste chicken that good uh, you know in Jamaica first step tasting American chicken that was that was that was fun um, also I remember uh, one year I wanted to get um, I wanted to get a, a, a tape I mean like a, a record player something like that uh, back in the island when you have one of those man you you you're on top of the world so I always wanted one and he got me a big one it was so big and, and, I, and I use it to play out my gospel music really, really loud. You know, I was able to use um, batteries. Of course, we didn't have light. So he got it for me, the one that used the battery. And, you know, so I'll never forget that. Also, I remember um, when he gave me this hat. Um, the, um, it's a baseball team in Florida. Um, the, what's the name? The Marlins? The Florida Marlins, I think. Something like that. And he gave me that, that hat, man, that hat was so, means so much to me. Um, uh, remember him again when he got, us, he got us a bicycle, the first bicycle that we had. I mean, it was, it was a lot of us, so, <laughs> you know, it, but it was, it was such a blessing because, I mean, not everybody uh, was able to have um, uh, a bicycle. And he brought a bicycle for us all. And man, we rode that bicycle until it didn't have any tire. We, we, we ride it on the rim. <laughs> you know, it, it was just, it, we just, we just, we just wrecked that bicycle, man. You know, we didn't, you know, but I remember that. Also, candy, think about candy. Man, I have so, many, so much great memory of him. He was such a great, great man. You know, he would bring these candies from America, you know. Taffy, he would bring taffy. Taffy was one of my favorite. And there's also another another flavor that he, he brought to Jamaica. Uh, it was the candy was spicy, and I loved that one. And then the, the, the other candy that, that he brought was the one that has like the strawberry looking rock on it. So those those kind of my favorite um, stuff. He always brings stuff, um, good stuff, especially for the kids. You know, and, and you know, I always remember him. I always have good memories of him. So, you know, I, I didn't realize how much, you know, I didn't realize how much he, he, he has done, you know, just begin to reflect on, on the life that he lived and how many lives he touched. You know, he definitely will always have a place in my heart. And, you know, there are some things I want to introduce you to. Some of the last harvests that I was privileged to harvest from his garden. Uh, the pineapple here came from his garden. Right now I'm feeling real cherry, but this means so much. And I said, I have to document this. So these pineapples right here, I'm gonna peel them. And then I'm gonna use everything here, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel this pineapple. I'm gonna eat the pineapple with my family and, and others. And I'm gonna make a drink with the skin. So, Brother Stanford, I'm putting everything to use. Um, also, we got a papaya here. This came from his garden. Yeah. And I have some more stuff outside that came from his garden. And those, I'm gonna make sure I cherish those. I'm gonna keep those as long as I can keep them. I'm gonna take care of them and I'm gonna cherish them in his memory. Um, so, I'm gonna peel this pineapple. Let's get this off of here. I'll make sure that I get everything here. This is gonna be for our juice. Pineapple ginger beer. This is all natural, no chemical. It's not 
never been in the refrigerator. This was right naturally. I could smell it, it smells so good. Thanks, Brother Stanford. Well, this 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 feels very special. Uh, I don't know how many other family members can can uh, you know share uh, memories of him, but you know these are some of the memories I have. He, he's always giving, you know. So I appreciate what he's done for us. And usually I don't, I don't keep the heart, but I'm not going to, yeah, I may want to just keep the heart too. <laughs> we'll see. But this is, this is very special. Very special. So we're going to do ginger beer. I'm going to put these right here for now. Thin, get this sweet. All right, it's not gonna last too long around here. Put it right in here. I'm gonna cut some in half. Take this out. You know, I was able to spend a um, final moment with him, actually. Uh, he, he, I went to see him on Saturday. And he passed away Wednesday morning. So I was in Florida from Saturday to Monday. And we were able to spend some good time with him. He prayed, and he was really talking about heaven, God, and he was praying for like his family members, you know, so those memories um, I will share in another episode, just hear his voice, praying for others, and just be thankful. You know, so those moments were very, very touching. And it's also comforting today to know, you know, he, he grew up apostolic, so he know, was baptized, and his final moment here on earth is between him and God. But I know his God consciousness was very much alive because of the conversation that he was having. So that is comforting. And the rest is in the hand of God. And I've learned so much just to see how quickly um, things can change. My advice my admonition to families, let us live good. Let us love each other. Let us look out for each other. Because trust me, when everything is said and done, we're not here forever. And don't let debt bring us together. Don't let wait for somebody to die before we start to celebrate and have, have, uh, have a good time. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, I wish if I had gone to see him, inquire more, you know, about him and, and, and uh, just as families. Sometimes, you know, I think that's that's a disease and I think we have to get rid of that. Where we, the only time we come together when somebody's dead or when somebody, you know, and then we get together and we, we talk about it. Oh yeah, we should get together. We need to get together more. We just need to do it, you know? So this year, I'm gonna get this over here. I'm gonna peel the papaya, this is from his garden. I'm gonna put this in my ginger beer, as you can see. I'm gonna dump it right over here. Yeah, my water going here. Okay. If you are
already Tristan making uh, the ginger beer. You can check out my uh, my other YouTube channel the episode making ginger beer. So you can look at that. So I'm gonna peel this. It's already washed. This is papaya. Came right from the street from Brother Stanford. It's garden. I don't have to do that. You know what? I'm going to miss him. Really going to miss him. But I thank God that I have some great memories of Greta Stanford. Also, I remember 2009 when I went to Florida. He had this little uh, pickup truck, and it was it was a stick, and he was he probably was in his seventy, man. And <laughs> it was me and Robin. <laughs> we were in the back of the truck in Florida. Yo, that thing was, and he was he was driving that thing like like you you think he was like. He was in his 40s. He was dropped, man, I was like, <laughs> there was no rain or anything on the car. I was like, yo, you know, it was, it was great. You know, and that was 2009, you know, he was, he, you know, took us all over Florida and uh, his little truck. So, that was a Toyota truck, man. That thing was like, so strong and fast. So, I remember that. That was a good name. We went to the mall. Uh, just hang out at the mall. Uh, my mother, him, and, and Robin. I think Natasha was here. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think so. But it was a great name. So, papaya. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try to get the seed. <laughs> we're gonna save the seed. We're gonna save the seed. No. So I'm just saving the seed because uh, my wife and I are really into farming, uh, gardening and you know, flower and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get, grow these papaya seeds. I'm gonna save them. Uh, I'm not really sure <laughs> if I should dry them, but I'm gonna do some research and uh, see what we can do with this papaya seed. Ready? Uh, if anyone that watched this video have any suggestion for growing papaya in the Northeast, please comment. I would love to know. Okay, so this is papaya and 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 reason why i'm saying this now is is that i i don't want to continue you know just living life you know as if we have eternity here i want to cherish the moment i have with my family especially now i want to do things with my family you know i, I want to i'm just slicing these nice and thin okay I'm just gonna. Oh, I should make something nice. Um, yeah, I need to make something nice. I'm sorry about that. Let me make something nice here. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, so I can do better than that. Okay, brother Stanford. I'm gonna make sure that we. Do something good with this. I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make a smoothie from this as well. I'm going to do a mango papaya smoothie. So I'm just cutting these up. And I'm making it. It's nice and soft. Not too soft. It's definitely right.
see us and, and the, 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 uh, the neighbors were saying that they thought he was gonna die but the moment he saw my mother there it's like he was so energetic like like it's like that's what they said and he was moving around and talking and doing doing everything you didn't know he would, they say he didn't know he was you couldn't tell he was sick uh, a couple hours ago so you know so I thank God that I was able to spend, you know, some time with him. I was able to create some memories, you know, some final memories. And and th this is right here. Look at this. This is a, a product of his garden, you know. And and I'm gonna cherish those moments. I'm gonna continue the legacy. I'm gonna continue to plant garden in in his uh, in his memory. I'm gonna continue to do those things. I'm gonna plant as much as I can just to honor him and what he started. He loved the garden. And look at this, this came from his garden. This is papaya, right? It's all tropical fruit. This is the pineapple, right? And I'm gonna taste it, so <laughs> sorry, I gotta taste it. Mm. I'm not even kidding. I usually don't eat pineapple hard, but this one is not even hard. It's just like the pineapple. I don't taste it, it's just, it's melt. Mmm. so sweet. Look at it. You could tell by looking at it. So. So, in closing, if I could, if I could say something to all of you that that's watching this video here, if you don't have a good relationship with your family, no matter how far they are, no matter what they have done, you know, some of the things that we call we allow to come between us as families, you know, and I'm not direct, I'm not directing this to anyone specifically. I'm just speaking in general. Some of the things that we allow to come between us, like little petty stuff. We malice each other, we don't talk to each other. Some of us die without even talking to each other. You know, we have to do better, you know. It's time for us to do better as families, you know. Uh, take the moment that we have, you know, not to live our lives, live our lives and just mad at each other. I think it's time for us to, to grow up and love each other and forgive each other and, and, and enjoy life and help each other when you can. So, because life is too short, we don't know when that individual won't be around. I will never see Brother Sanford ever again, you know, ever, you know. And what I want to say is cherish those moments. That way, when that person is no longer there, it could be a brother, a sister, a mother, a friend, a family, it doesn't matter who they are. Let us love them. Let us tell them how important they are. Let us uh, enjoy their labor while they're here. You understand? I wish your brother Stanford was here to taste uh, taste a piece of the pineapple or even the papaya, you know, but he's no longer here. And I'm saying this because, you know, life is short. And if I can encourage you, let us make use of it. 
God bless you, and I love you all. Take care.